Imagine having a world quality high tech putting green just in your living room. What I'm going to show you today with the X putt putting simulator is going to blow your heads off in a lot of ways because you've not seen anything like this. I hadn't seen anything like this until I tested it. It's a little abstract and some people are just going to think this is a little mad. But when you actually start using this, honestly, this has blown me away. Welcome to my full review of the X putt putting simulator. Yep, you heard me. It's a putting simulator. So unboxing this device is a little bit funny because in the box you just think there's no way there is the right amount of things in this box to do everything this device is promising it's going to do. But there is. It's packaged really well. So you get this x -Puck camera system. Looks a little bit like a Kinect, you know, like the Kinect, like the Wii Kinect that sees you move those things around. I kind of think it is one of them. You get the x -Puck putting mat so it rolls out rolls up when you're done so for easy storage if you don't want it out with this little foam bit at the end which you're going to put into allowing you to putt at any speed and the ball not kind of just run away across your living room floor you get a tripod you get a remote control you get a little connector if you want to put it on your telly because this connects in such an interesting way which i'll show you you get these stickers to put on your club if you want to get accurate data on your club and then you get all the cables and user guides as well the packaging was good it was neat it was tiny i was shocked how much came out of the box uh, when it comes you honestly think really when's the mat coming but it's all in there ready to go and ready to get set up Setting up the x -Putt golf simulator or putting simulator, you literally put the mat on the floor. You could put it on hard floor. I had it on a rug. Uh, I've used it in my studio. I would definitely use this for coaching for speed control, which is a killer problem for so many golfers. You roll out the mat. The mat has a little foam bit at the end, which you're going to putt into. So you're putting towards the foam bit. You set up the x -Putt camera. So the kind of we connect looking thing in a way where it sees all of the mat, it has to see all of the mat. So you need a certain amount of room behind the putting mat for that to see the whole mat. You then can connect in an interesting way. You can connect it to a smart device, which I did. And connecting to a smart device feels very current, very now, what you would expect. You just connect it to your smart device, gives you a lineup screen, shows you it's connected, and then you start interacting with the app, doing the many things which we'll come to. You can also, and this made me feel like a kid in the 90s or 80s again, you can connect it via HDMI to your telly and then literally run it through your TV, which so you wouldn't even need a device. So if you wanted to connect this just to your telly, so you literally put, look up in your living room and it's on the big screen of your telly, that can be done. Connecting into that way was a little bit more boggy, but you can get it done. It did feel like this was never going to work. I haven't connected something to my telly like that for years. I even had to find where my little box is to connect something to my telly because I haven't connected something for... Yeah, everything's connected. You don't really touch tellies anymore like that, it feels like. But that was a clever way of using it if you don't want to use an app. I personally would use the app. I could share the app to the telly if I wanted as well so I could get it on both screens. But setting up was so, so simple. Once it's connected, once it says the device is in view, you're literally putting a ball down between the two kind of dashes and you're ready to go. You're ready to interact with the app, with the device and start doing some amazing things with your putting in the comfort of your own home. So what is XPUT going to do for you? Well, it's a simulator in your home office, wherever you want it to be. So basically think about hitting shots into a net and you've got your kind of launch monitors around you and it simulates the ball. This is the same. You hit a putt on a mat, the camera's picking up face subject to if you put dots on the club it's picking up the ball the speed and because it's hitting a foam roller you can hit it soft or hard it's not going to run away anywhere and then in effect that part is hit in the digital world it's hit on your device or up on your telly it's going to give you instant feedback on tempo putter path face angle and then in turn ball roll like can you hit the ball at a target can you start it online can you hit it an exact distance because you can you can basically simulate whatever you want on the green the slope the stimp 
the conditions. Like you can make this simulator a projected course you're going to play. Let's say you're going to go and play a course and you know those greens are way quicker than yours and you want to get some practice, not just on the putting green when you turn up, which is barely going to do anything. You want to work some practice in weeks before. You could find the stimp, guess the stimp of that green, so the speed of the green, and start hitting X putts and training your speed control for that faster green. You could set it up for your home course. Understand, learn the stim. Getting the stim is really easy. You can guesstimate it and you could certainly work with your greenkeeper or your pro at your club. They'd be able to tell you what the stimp is. So the speed of that green. Dial in your expat to those speeds and practice at home. Like practice on the putting green when you get there as well, but practice at home between when you want. It's there at your fingertips. You don't have to go to the green and practice your putting, which I know so many of you don't do because I look at putting greens around the world. They're full of people ready to play, not practices. Let's say you play on a course that has loads of slope. Let's say you play on a course which is flat. You can change all those aspects to practice the breaking putts, which so many golfers are not great at. It's allowing you to practice like you would with a launch monitor. You know, practice ball speeds, practice distance control, start direction, visualizing shots via the digital world. Like if I swing this hard, does it go 20 foot? If I swing this hard, so visualizing in your brain, so kind of internally of having those visions of what 10 foot, 20 foot, five foot, 100 foot, whatever, are on a putting green. If anyone is serious about improving their putting, this device absolutely would allow you to do it if you can't always get to the putting green. You can also play real courses like Pebble Beach, so you can actually put on the greens of real courses, which is super fun and engaging when groups. You can also challenge and invite friends to do it as well, subject to if they've got an expert or not. So the, what you can do with this device is basically practice your putting in an unrealistic or realistic world, subject to how you set it up, and do it in the comfort of your home whenever you want to do it. Like, this is why this blew me away, because when I first got it, I'm thinking, really, putting in my living room, am I gonna, is this gonna do anything? When I set it up, started interacting with it, I was like, this is unbelievable, if you're serious about improving your putting. So the cost, is the cost coming up in your pro, in your relative area? Is it worth the money? Well, lots of you are going to say no, because lots of you are not willing to spend really that much money on your putting, which I understand, respect, and that's fine. Lots of you are not very good at putting. <laughs> and it's something over my years of coaching that it's, often very hard to get people engaged, excited, practicing their pattern as much as they should. Bear in mind, so many people believe, oh, it's all about the putting. Even though we know the importance of distance, we know the importance of tee to green gains, putting is an element of the game that still you can make gains. Often for so many amateurs, they absolutely can make really easy fixes with putting where they don't need to be butchering grips and changing swing paths and doing all the big harder work that comes with swing just by improving distance control alone will allow golfers to improve their putting and in turn their score and in turn their handicap and for some that means improve their enjoyment so is it worth the money i personally think it is if you are not going to practice your putting if you're a bit uncertain if you're going to use this no it's not it don't spend that money on something that's going to sit in the corner and you're not going to use. If you are someone who commits to practicing at home, wants to practice more at home, wants to make gains with their putting, absolutely 100% worth the money. I think for lots of people watching, I get it. It's not, it's a lot of money. I'm not spending that, you know, on my putting. I get all that and I agree, it's fine if you don't want to. But I think for anyone serious about improving, yeah, it's totally worth the money. Accuracy of the device, the expert's accuracy is hard, obviously, to measure. I set it up to my greens at home uh, or at Honiton where I practice, and I felt like it absolutely felt like it was on the course. So I felt like the crossover was realistic. And to me, it felt like that practice on the X putt set up to the stimp of Hon and Hon and Greens have quite a lot of slope. So using some of the slope, yeah, uh, it translated in my imagination, in my mind. I would totally use it if I was competing. 
the students I've used it on in the studio, it blows them away. They're like, how do I get this? It, it totally transforms a parting lesson into an easy, precise, kind of really digestible system of them understanding that they're not that good at distance control and that they're not that good at start direction. And then in turn, how much fun it can be when you do practice on a system like this that's giving you that instant feedback. Obviously, we can go out on the putting green and do those things as well. There's more moving around. There's weather to get involved with. There's changeable green subject, certainly in the weather in the UK, be rubbish in the winter and then super dry in the summer. So there's more variables, which makes the indoor system for a coach and a student way more controlled which is really good i did try it up against my quad because my gc quad also measures ball speed start directions and it was pretty accurate if we take that the quad was close and accurate it was pretty close to it like enough for it when i did the maths on how far it would go over the stem that the distances were within less than a feet of each other on the projected distances of where that ball would go so the accuracy for me absolutely good enough would i do a study with it no i would use other systems quintec and things like that if you wanted to really study path and face and ball but they're industrial kind of pro teaching a devices this is a home use fun you can compete you can practice instant feedback device that's going to allow anyone who wants to improve their putting to and that is the key for me let me know in the comments, is this something that is interesting you? It blew me away when I first used this device.